all right all right ladies and gentlemen you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show the truth with ben jokes now they say when the hunters learn to shoot without missing the birds will also learn to fly without perching the nigerian political class have been able to hold the people down in poverty for this long because they know how to unite and work together to continue to impoverish the people. The people now have to learn to use their strength, which is in their number, to free themselves. And in that regard, a golden opportunity has presented itself. The federal government of Nigeria proposed a minimum wage of 60,000 Naira. Labor rejected it and proceeded on a nationwide strike, a strike that shook the country. So, the federal government made them suspend the strike with a commitment to paying a minimum wage higher than 60,000 Naira. But they had a sinister plan. Just hours ago, the Nigerian Governors Forum came out and said, even that 60,000 Naira that the federal government proposed is not sustainable for states. And for what it's worth, I will say without doubt that the federal government is conniving with state governors to dodge a minimum wage higher than 60,000 naira. So governors, the same governors who are on life pensions, the same governors whose salaries are humongous, are now coming out to say that states cannot pay 60,000 naira to civil servants to make it look as if it's not Inubu's fault, as if it's governors that are now blocking it. And as soon as that communique came out, Nigerians exploded with rage and I am telling you, this is an opportunity to shut everywhere down. In the 36 states of the federation, let people rise against their governors, rise against the federal government, rise against everybody. Because they don't think that the people are human beings like them. You can be collecting millions of naira monthly, but the people don't deserve 60,000 naira. It's not as if there is no money to pay, but they want to have enough money to furnish their extravagant and useless lifestyles. Before I show you their statements and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this video. Is the obedient movement, is it bigger than the Labour Party? Oh, far, far bigger. Far, far, far bigger. It's bigger because than the Labour Party. It is. It is. So, because it is a movement of his own that have a life of his own. What they are interested in is good governance. Even if the Labour Party is doing something that is wrong, they are ready to challenge it. Let me go further. Even His Excellency, if he does something that is not in line with good governance, the opposition movement would challenge it. You heard that. First of all, I find it shocking that there is anyone out there who is still confused about this aspect of the obedient movement. We are talking about fixing Nigeria. We are talking about Labour Party. The movement is clearly a coalition of Nigerians who have been yearning for good governance and they found a presidential candidate who epitomizes their cravings and they just named their ideology after him. So it's actually an ideology. Every Nigerian who desires a better Nigeria will perfectly fit into the obedient family whether he is a member now or not. And whoever you are on this planet, if you do the wrong thing, obedience will point it out to you. And look at how Nigerians react. They look at some of the tweet reactions. And this tweet here by Auntie Rob, he says, Bigger than any party, come next election and we will show APC that our votes must count whether they like it or not. And Olumide Oni says, 100%, the movement is bigger than any party or man. Even if Peter will be do anyhow, we go give him woto woto. That is it. The reason why obedience are solidly behind Peter Obi is because the man epitomizes good governance. It's not because he's from the southeast. It's not because he's a trader. It's not because it is because he stands for good governance. And if he departs from that line today, obedience will depart from him. But thankfully, he can never depart from that line because that is who he is. And Adewale Abiola says factos, hundred percent. The movement is bigger than any party. And this tweet by Jay says, A movement that got such heavy attention within just one year should be referred to as a wave of tsunami. Even Alex Oti would not have won in Abia State without the obedient movement. That is that is the whole truth. And Omo Henry here says, I am full-blooded Yoruba. 
and I'm unapologetically obedient. Before they will say that it is a Southeast or South South movement. Before they will say it is a regional movement. We won the election in Nasarawa. We won in Plateau State. We won in Taraba. If our votes were not stolen, we would have won in Kaduna and Benue. We won in places where Labour Party does not even have state offices. They, no campaign office. Nothing. But because of the power of this extraordinary movement. And we will continue to work stronger until we take our country back. Now, let us look at that press statement released by the Nigerian Governors Forum as regards the national minimum wage. Look at how the papers reported it. Breaking. 60,000 minimum wage proposed by Tinubu government. Too high. Can't fly. State governors. The 60,000 naira minimum wage earlier proposed by the Bola Tinubu government has been rejected by all the 36 state governors of the federation. This was stated in a press statement issued by the Director Media and Public Affairs of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Hajia Halima Salihu Ahmed, on Friday. The governors described 60,000 naira minimum wage as too high and not sustainable by them, adding that approving it would push many state governors to borrow more loans to pay salaries every month. The Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress had on Monday embarked on an indefinite strike action after rejecting the federal government's 60,000 naira offer as minimum wage. However, the Labour Union relaxed the strike for one week to give room for further negotiations with the federal government, which had promised to increase the wage from 60,000 naira. The statement read in part, the Nigerian Governors Forum is in agreement that a new minimum wage is due. The forum also sympathizes with labor unions in their push for higher wages. However, the forum urges all parties to consider the fact that the minimum wage negotiations also involve consequential adjustments across all cadres, including pensioners. All things considered, the Nigerian Governors Forum holds that the 60,000 naira minimum wage proposal is not sustainable and cannot fly. It will simply mean that many states will spend all their FAC allocations on just paying salaries with nothing left for development purposes. In fact, a few states will end up borrowing to pay workers every month. We do not think this will be in the collective interest of the country, including the workers. We appeal that all parties involved, especially the labor unions, consider all the socio-economic variables and settle for an agreement that is sustainable, durable, and fair to all other segments of the society who have legitimate claim to public resources. So you know that every other person in the society has legitimate claim to public resources. And you know that it makes sense to be fair to them. Yet you put yourself on life pensions. Yet, you collect close to 12, 13, 20 million naira monthly as your salary. Yet, you buy mansions for your girlfriends. Yet, you take your girlfriends to Dubai with state funds. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Omo Oya, teacher says, The complete breakdown of the allowance and salary of the state governors in Nigeria after the new minimum wage increase in 2020. One, monthly basic salary. 2,223,705 leave allowance 222,370 vehicle loan 400% of annual basic salary hmm. end of tenor gratuity 6,671,115 total monthly salary of a governor in Nigeria is capped at 11,540,000 896. The same governors are saying 60,000 hour minimum wage is too high and can't fly. And when they put 11 million here, you should know we are talking about 100 million. Meanwhile, the whole state allocation, more than 50% of it still goes into their pockets. These are colleagues of Yaya Belu, the man who paid the school fees of his son in advance. These are people who go 36 months without paying salaries. And this tweet by Wawulensia says, just imagine the kind of country we found ourselves in. There are same people who embezzle billions of naira monthly. Yayabelo embezzled 80 billion naira and nothing was done till today. And they can't pay just 60,000 naira. This country is like Z-World. 
extraordinary every day chai and this tweet by jalo waziri says nigerians aren't ready yet when they are actually really ready they will hold those governors feet to the fire nigerian governors are viciously callous and olati here says all the 36 state workers should unite and fight for whatever is agreed as a national minimum wage there shouldn't be any disparity between the federal and state workers mm. now like i said at the beginning of this video this is an opportunity for nigerians to ask for a reduction in the cost of governance shut the nation down shut the 36 states of the federation down and say we as labor are ready to take forty thousand naira as minimum wage in fact let the minimum wage remain at thirty thousand naira that it is but all government officials must also be on minimum wage no more convoys if we see any government official driving with three four cars we as nigerian people will attack you let us all become normal human beings let us run our country the way normal people sane people run their countries it is a democracy and in democracy we are all equal stakeholders this is a big big opportunity for the people of this country to start that mega protest through the kind of protests that I'm envisaging, we can even fix electoral acts. Electoral and constitutional issues can even be fixed through this kind of protest. Things that are not up to this have happened in other parts of the world where they had problems of leadership. And they were able to arise and fix their problems. Will Nigerians take this opportunity that is left to be seen? Anyway, make I leave them here. Make I still enter town. <laughs> Make I go get some Ubonga political news where we now go like. Why? Because now, because of now, now I did here, so don't go away. <laughs>